Off the top tonight, growing concern about the definition of marriage adopted by Grand Rapids Christian Schools. The Board of Trustees voted to make additions to the staff handbook defining marriage as only between a man and a woman. Newsday's Taylor Morris talked with some parents who are concerned about the change to the handbook. She's here now with the latest. Taylor. Michelle Bryan, parents, alumni, and staff members held a private meeting this evening to go over their questions and discuss what this new policy means for the future of the district. It wasn't the decision of the parents or the teachers or the students to move forward with this policy necessarily. According to parents, starting next school year, the staff handbook will state that Grand Rapids Christian Schools believes that God instituted marriage as biblically defined and historically interpreted to be between a man and woman. Back in December, the Board of Trustees voted to approve this new addition. Since then, parents and community members started a petition to protest the change, which now includes more than 2,000 signatures. A group of parents held a private meeting to discuss their concerns about the new policy. We've also been told that this is a policy that affects staff and not students. But if we are telling students it's okay to identify in this way as a student, but you're not welcome to come back and teach here, what are we telling the students? We spoke to a mother of a fourth grader at GRCS. She says after she and her family heard the news, they made the decision to remove their son from the district. He will start at a new school in the fall. I was just so sad. I can't continue to support or keep my child in a system that's going to discriminate or marginalize the population of LGBTQ plus individuals that I care so much about. We also reached out to GRCS about the changes to the handbook. In a statement, district leaders said the board is committed to continue working together with our teachers and administrators to provide resources needed to nurture the faith and support the mental health and well-being of LGBTQ plus students. The board is also taking additional steps to further dialogue with teachers and administrators to reaffirm our commitment to a reformed perspective. And although this only alters the staff handbook, many parents say this could also affect the students. And that's one of the big concerns here is teachers will go into these discussions wondering, is my career going to be at jeopardy if I say the wrong thing, if I show support to a student in the wrong way? And that's, that's re really, really, really sad and it's, and it's really, potentially very harmful, especially to kids when they're at some of the most vulnerable points of their lives. Some parents are asking the district to pause implementation of the new policy, but that decision is up to the leaders of the private school. Brian.